everyone, it's Vanessa. This is going to be a little bit of a different kind of video, as you can see from this. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about planning, how planning has been in the past few years for me, and what I'm hoping that this new planner, which is the Hobonichi Cousin, Hobonichi Techo Cousin Avec, will do for my planning. Why I think that it's going to alleviate some of my planning problems from the past. Um, and so I kind of just wanted to take you through some of my older planners and journals um, to show you what I've used them for and how I hope that this one will get me out of my planning funk, basically, and make me a more creative person like I used to be. So I'll get to this one in a little bit. I want to show you some of my older journals, like these two you see here, which are ones that I used during my study abroad in Italy when I was in Florence. Oh, there's dog hair. Dog hair everywhere. My main goal when I was there is that I was going to keep memories and I forced myself to journal every single day. So let's go through this one really quickly first. I'll just go through the pages really quickly because I don't think it's... I mean, there's nothing you're missing here. <laughs> Um, so this is how I started, and there's probably some really embarrassing stuff in here, like me crying. Yeah, I'm crying here. I'm listening to Demi Lovato down here. So, embarrassing. So this is this was my whole goal, is that I was going to journal every single day. Um, and I did. I wanted to keep things as well, and I loved collecting maps, and boarding passes, and postcards. And I think what happens is that this is a once in a lifetime kind of experience and you feel like yes I need to document that um, but when it comes to like your everyday life you don't think it's that amazing so you stop journaling about everyday things but then you don't keep those memories and yeah you should so that's what I did here I kept lots of memories like this one when we went to this awesome restaurant this was their placemat and I took the placemat I cut out the cool um, drawings so yeah, this is what I loved doing the most, is kind of plotting where I was going and showing physically, geographically where I was going. And definitely kept lots of postcards. Everywhere I went, I, I got a postcard. This is when we went to Pisa. And we got on the, on the train. Things you don't do here. Yeah. So that's one of them. This one, I think, was like, I, I was in it. I was super into it, because you can see just the difference between me collecting things in the two journals. Um, I hope my hands aren't super ashy, because it's so dry here. So let's go through this one. We really started doing lots of traveling, and that's why you, you see more of these things. Well, when we went to Capri, we had a horrible boat ride, and I threw up. Lots of people threw up. I wasn't alone, but a lot of us threw up. <laughs> But it was so beautiful there. Let's see. When we went to the Amalfi Coast, um, we went with a company that took us there. So this is from that. And this is the hostel we stayed at. And then I, I continued to map out horribly the map of Italy and where we went on each day. Oh, when we went to the Vatican. And we saw the Sistine Chapel. Again, map lover. In the days, I loved putting what, what we did on each day, like what area of the town we were in. And when we went to Siena, Siena was a fave of mine. It was just so cool, like the history and the culture there. Uh, contradas. So each contrada is has a different symbol or mascot. And then when we went to see the David, I loved this one. I loved collecting like awesome placemats, as you can tell. And this is us going to Luca, and then this is leaving, saying goodbye, Firenze. And here's Florence one more time, and kind of like where all the places were that I lived, that I went to class, and the places we went all the time. This is my next journal, and this one is also a chunker, and I love this journal to death. Um, what I mostly did was I kept things. I kept things from my brother's graduation. I kept track of the money I was making at Applebee's. Oh, it's great to work at Applebee's. Um, when Gator football was happening. Here's New Year's. This is when I started doing like daily things and then I, it fell off, of course. Um, I kept newspaper things when gay marriage um, was upheld by Supreme Court. Um, when a lot of things were happening on the news. Um, some kind of junk magazine journaling, which was part of this 
thing to do when we went on spring break to North Carolina. My first time skiing, keeping maps still. This is when I graduated. This is when my boyfriend worked at the movie theater, so we got free tickets all the time. And I went to all these movies that summer with him. This is, I was cleaning up my broom and I didn't know where to put these pictures. They were all over my walls. And so I ended up putting them here. So they're just old pictures. My little baby junior who is now like 12 years old. Ah! Let's see, this is when I did my int um, my service year uh, with AmeriCorps. This is when I, where I was interviewed for the newspaper there, <laughs> which is pretty funny. And they misspelled my name. <laughs> so I just like keeping things from the airport. I did I not fill this out? This is me applying to my MLIS. And then closing out this journal. Keeping things for magazines. The end. This was my last just normal journal. And again it was kind of a memory keeping thing whenever this was still during my AmeriCorps year. Um, when we went to Washington, D.C. And then this is the mall, things we did. I went with my brothers and my dad. Um, I just love going to the museums in Washington, D.C. And again, collected lots of things. This was me in, the, in our newsletter. Again, me in the newspaper. Yeah! Service is almost over, so this is me ending the service. Saying goodbye. And then this is when I went back to Florida. So saying goodbye and then coming back. I went to Kennedy Space Center for the first time. <laughs> Books read as of October 2016. I was trying to keep track. Yeah, this is when the post shooting happened. And we went to a Miami Heat Magic game and they did a whole um, in memory of kind of thing. Also voted. And then I completely fell off. There's nothing really here. So that's it. After that, I went into bullet journaling. I don't have that journal on me, so I'm just going to insert clips of what that looked like. It was lots of me trying to do things, lots of me trying to look on Pinterest to see how people did ribbons and banners, and lots of me failing and feeling annoyed and never actually opening it up because I had to create everything. I had to create my monthly spreads, I had to create, you know, daily spreads, and it just felt like a lot um, and I, I just wasn't up for it. So I did fall down the rabbit hole as we do and I found the Hobonichi. What I really liked about this journal is that everything is pretty much there for you um, and that includes monthlies, um, weeklies, and dailies and I think dailies is the the thing that really made me want this journal over others or over continuing to try to do bullet journaling. I got it in the Avec version which means I have the January to June one here and then I have another booklet which is July through December and it just makes it just smaller, easier to carry around. I don't need that many pages for daily journaling and I think one page is enough. I get that with a bullet journal basically you can just do whatever and you make the space you need for everything but I just felt like that was more of a downside to me that I didn't pick up my journal because I had to do everything. Um, so here's my monthly for right now. It starts in December. It doesn't give me any weeklies in December or any dailies in December so I only have this December monthly and then I'll get started once January finally comes around. So this is how I'm going to kind of do this and my ideas which I wrote down ideas of how I'm going to use this journal. My monthlies I really think are just going to be out of the ordinary kind of things. Also just normal dates of activities and parties and get-togethers, um, birthdays, um, and other things like that to remember. I, I don't know if I'm going to sticker it all up all the time. Um, I really like the idea of drawing little things. I like the idea of watercoloring different blocks. Um, and then I like the idea of doing a to-do of things I need to get done that month. And then I'll show you what I think my weeklies will look like. So I think this is what I'm going for. My weeklies, I want to have my actual schedule, so like the things that I need to be doing. By the way, this is going to be a good thing for me, I think, because of the renovations that are coming. The library is closing December 19th for three months! And I'm just going to be all over the place at different branches and doing outreach and doing story time at a recreation center in town instead of at our usual place. So I think my journal will really help that situation of being confused about where I need to be. Do I need to be at this library or at this library or at this place? Um, so that's what I think my weeklies are going to help do. To actually look at where I need to be from what hour to what hour and what I need to be doing from what hour to what hour. So that's what I imagine is going to happen like here-ish. 
um, maybe there'll be some doodling. I did this Happy New Year because we don't work that day. <laughs> so then I also want my weeklies to have appointments, errands, things that I need to do, clean, laundry, blah, blah, blah. Um, appointments for Sam, appointments for me to go to the doctor, etc. I also kind of want this downside, which people kind of block off because it goes from 5 a.m. to 4 a.m. and most people don't need to know all of that, like, sleeping! I don't need to know that. Um, so I think people really block off that time to put other things like trackers. Um, I really want to use it for which people uh, I've seen people use to keep track of what they're going to eat that night and like recipes that they want to keep. Kind of seeing what you have in the fridge and maybe I can use that as like oh make that that night so that we get rid of the stuff that's in our fridge versus going out to eat. And then maybe uh, some trackers I could use here of maybe if someday I decide hey I, I want to start jogging again. <laughs> Um, that would be something that I could use down here for. There's also a nice space on this side where you can do tracking or you can do just like tasks that you need to get done that week. And I think I will also use that. Finally, um, right now I have just like the little notes of things that are, I need to end up putting here. But I'm just waiting a little bit to see if things might change starting that first week of January. Because it might. So I'll show you the dailies and what I want from the dailies and what I think that's going to happen in the dailies. Alright. So it starts here. I really like that at the beginning of the month it's just kind of like one page. Just do whatever. And that could be things you're grateful for in that month, goals you want to get accomplished that month. Um, people use them for all kinds of things. So just even drawing. I can just use this whole page to just create. And then the dailies. I had originally started putting like where I needed to be at what time because it also keeps track of time on the left hand side. But I don't think I'm going to use it for that anymore. Like I don't think I need to know on the day where I'm supposed to be because I'll just use the weeklies for that and this will work fine for that. So I think what will end up happening on this page is the stuff that I used to do with these journals of diary kind of entries. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do some art kind of stuff. I bought some watercolors because the ones that I had currently dried out <laughs> as I was trying to do some um, watercoloring in here, I realized that they were gross. So I threw them away and I bought some new ones. I also asked for some other things during for Christmas um, that have to do with this. I asked for some Tombos and markers and I asked for, well I asked for a stencil that's specifically for the Hobonichi and I think that will also help me. And then maybe I need to go to Michael's and get some stickers as well. And then that's what I could do on my dailies is just do the kind of things that I used to do for memory keeping. So what I did that day, keep things like movie tickets or um, when we go on vacation, keep things from places we go to sightseeing. Um, I think that's what that will be for. So journaling and decorating really is what I want from the daily pages. And that's pretty much it, I think. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I know a lot of you do bullet journaling. How is that going for you? <laughs> I can see the upsides and the downsides to pretty much all of them. All of the things have positives and negatives. This one, I can only write one page, but I think that this, just having this date already there for me is going to make me more excited to open up a journal and start decorating because it's all ready for me. Thanks so much for watching. I'll try to get this better, you know, the lighting and right now I'm standing over the camera and it's pointing down and it feels really weird. <laughs> so I don't really know how people do these kinds of angles. I have to go do some research. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.